Hey guys, welcome to the sixth episode of Coach's Corner this evening. How is everyone? This evening. Well, it's Monday, 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Did you, in real time. <laughs> in real time, yeah. The gym's yeah. empty today. <laughs> How is everyone? Good? Uh, good. I'm good. Okay. How are you, Ash? I'm well. I'm well. Good. good. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I did a poll this morning on Instagram. Um, socks with slides. Yeah, no. <laughs> What do you guys reckon? Yeah. Did you, didn't you do that like that? Didn't you okay. do that poll last week? Oh yeah, that was yeah <laughs> last <laughs> week. We're in, real, we're in real time, but in real time this morning. What yeah? time is it? It's eight o'clock on Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys reckon? Socks? Nah. You know what I found? So Ideally far, not. I think it's like a 50-50. Yeah. Really? I found that oh. most oh. most oh. guys oh. like it, and then most females are not a fan. Guys like it. Yeah, that's I why you do it. Guy who likes it. Hey, maybe to wear don't it. Don't have a problem with it. Yeah, but they would wear that. It's actually pretty comfy. Well, we look at it Did from a little perspective. Did you ask thongs or like <laughs> slides? Slides. Actually, slides. Yeah, slides is okay. Yeah. 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 So good inside out, don't you? I don't know. Oh, you do. Anyway. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Let's dive into the questions. So these are the questions that have come from our Instagram from you guys at home and it's sent into our Instagram page. And uh, let's get into the first one. I've seen your stories uh, that most people squat and deadlift with no shoes on. Why is this? Because they forgot their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> most we don't like wearing shoes. <laughs> Steve doesn't like cleaning the floor. <laughs> yeah. The shoes, so. <laughs> so Steve's standing at the door. No muddy shoes. Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I look. The reason why that we, we do that is because most people that come into the gym, they would have more of so like the running type of shoe. And um, you know, that's got the, the cushion on the bottom, um, which is gonna be better for you for, for running and for walking and helping with your joints. Force absorption. Yeah, so when you're coming to do a squat or a deadlift, and the idea of it is to try and provide force through the floor to help you up with your lift, you know, with having something that's got a cushion on your sole, it's very hard to actually provide that force to the floor. So we're looking, we need more of a hard surface. Um, the other reason as well is that we want something that's flat and uh, most of the running shoes aren't so flat and it can help, it can, uh, I guess, can throw you out with your balance. So, um, you know. Well, even, a, even a technique point of view as well. Technique, yeah. Um, like you always kind of want to encourage for, for a squat or deadlift. Have the three points of contact, so your big toe, little toe, heel. Um, some people overly supinate or pronate their feet. So taking the shoes off generally helps and you can kind of teach and coach the cue of gripping your feet and get, maintaining that arch in your foot. Um, with the shoes, it's, almost, it's hard and you see people um, pronate and supinate in that way. So. Mm taking it off is generally better so you can actually mm. see and they can actually feel what is actually going on at their feet because it's your base of your support which you're what you're pushing through as well yeah. and increasing strength through your feet is important yeah, yeah. Or, or foot stability as well and, yeah so it's good to walk around with no shoes on yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, or, maybe slides. No. But like, to give him another alternative if they want to sh train with no shoes on, providing like this more I think of a squat Steve's or deadlift. shoes will probably be a bit better. Like they look pretty flat and not so cushiony, mm -hmm. whereas Abby's look pretty cushiony. Oh, mm. maybe length is even cushiony. Yeah, crossfit shoes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. so. we're, we're we're talking Actually, about more about like the, the kind of like the Nike free run. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Quite a cushiony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, the other shoes that you could wear are like the the. The cons, like the Converse All Star shoes, um, or Vans, or something that's got like a hard, flat surface. Or for squats, weightlifting shoes. Mm. Or yeah, or then flat. you can go for an actual Olympic lifting shoes as well, which yeah. um, will help. Big you thing lot. is like feeling, having contact with the ground, and having yeah. that awareness, like Luke said. There's three points of contact because yeah. mm. that's probably a cue. Like not all cues work for everybody, but mm. I feel that cue Excellent. really having that balance and contact with the ground. That's a cue that's universal for everyone when they squat. They need yeah. to have that mid foot balance and even distribution of pressure, pressure. so yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think for most people having bare foot really uh, lets them feel the ground. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Okay, second one. Thoughts on drinking Pepsi Max or Coke Zero for fat loss? I've heard since that these have zero calories in it, they are okay for you. Well, I think if you're drinking a lot of Pepsi or say Diet Coke, how much water are you drinking as well? Like that's a lot of fluid depending on how much. So I would say with, you know, make sure that you're getting in your um, water first for hydration. Um, I wouldn't recommend drinking Diet Coke on a regular basis or anything uh, yeah. um, artificially flavoured um, on a regular basis. Well, it's, it's hard because I don't think like 
it's just not going to help you lose fat if you drink a Coke. That's not if that's what you're asking. Mm. But if you like, if you do like soft drink, I think switching from a normal Coke to a Coke Zero or something will probably help with your calorie wise. Yeah. So that's a smart option. Some people just really just love soft drink, and mm. that will help you reduce your calories overall. Um, I'm not saying just go, everyone just start drinking Pepsi Max and that. But um, yeah, it'll help with your calories overall because there is no calories in But it is, I mean, it is okay to drink that. Yeah, I don't think there's like too much like proven that it's like what people think artificial sweetening and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I think sure. there is a certain yeah. amount. It's touchy, it's, it's, it's still up in the air. But I still wouldn't recommend drinking it. No, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but yeah. it's, it's still it's, up in the air. There's a certain yeah. amount of artificial, artificial sweetener that you need to intake for it to, you know, affect mm. your yeah. body. Yeah, I, I think it's a lot. Yeah. A yeah. It's a lot. Amount. And we're looking yeah. at like 40 of those like stevia packets a day. Yeah. yeah. Like it's a lot, which is, it's very hard for, I guess, the average human to be able to consume mm. that in one day. So, um, guess if you, you had one here or there, it's yeah, not going to affect yeah. affect you. Um, you know, in terms of calorie calorie wise, I mean, there's, there's zero calories in there. So, you know, I, I drink it every night. Like I have the Coke, no sugar, every night with my dinner, um, just because of I enjoy that. You know, I like that. I like having it. I just drink it in moderation, I guess. You know, yeah, so I don't it's think a good, it's, it's very good substitute in moderation. Mm. Yeah, mm. but just don't use it just because it's zero yeah. sugar. Don't use it as an excuse to be your like liquid source and every yeah. single meal. Yeah. Yeah. Don't use it as the main yeah. source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Should I still work out if my legs are sore from the previous session? So I guess we're dealing with Dom's. Can we give him a shout out? <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Bryony. <Yeah. laughs> Thanks for the question. What, what? <laughs> Thanks for the question. Um, you're referring to Dom's? Is that what she's referring yep. to? Um, so where your muscles are sore after a workout. Um, I think you can train and you should. Just be aware that um, you probably be a little bit limited um, because of the muscle soreness. I would probably, if you were gonna do it, um, take time and do a proper warm up. Um, majority, like research shows that probably just warm up, just a bit of cardio. You have your other stuff where people say it helps stretch you and foam rolling, everything like that, you can do that. But I think if you just get warmed up, get the blood flowing um, before you start, you can still train. That's mm. my opinion anyway. No, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I spent some time with warm up. Yeah, stretching. good good warm up. Before, after. Yeah. Mm. Even just maybe just do some stretching after your workout and maybe look at structure in your training, maybe look better. If you do legs on Monday, don't do legs on Tuesday. Maybe just give it two days or three yeah, days. You still need, you know, yeah. a recovery time. Yeah, you need recovery, of course. Don't just go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Just Especially legs. legs. Yeah. They are a lot slower to recover than something that's more like, you know, so yeah. like your biceps. <clears throat> yeah. Mm, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Number four, hi, squat club coaches. I often find it hard to reach my protein intake and rely on protein shakes too much, which I'm so over. What are some good foods that I could have as a snack that are high in protein? Keep up the good work. I'm loving Coach's Corner. He's going on LinkedIn, so, Instagram. <laughs> <Yeah>. Link here. <laughs> so I think first of all, um, I would suggest to add protein into your breakfast because that's really important. Um, and I know, Ebony, <laughs> that you are not eating any protein <laughs> in your breakfast. Oh, name and shame. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. <laughs> um, She's logged so, in now. So, yeah, add some, add some protein, eggs or something like egg whites um, into your breakfast. And then for snacks, um, you can have wrap with tuna. Luke, Luke uh, is wrap with tuna? <laughs> if you have a, um, this is all for me. I think it's easy, but it's... It's convenient, like you've got a can yeah. of tuna, a wrap, and then I'll put some spinach and maybe some low fat cheese, which also has protein in it. Yeah. And this is boom straight in, and that's done in like two minutes. I'm yeah. always running late, so that's Even if you, if you get the um, low carb wraps, the yeah, mission wraps, yeah. they got like 11 grams of protein already in one wrap, yeah. which is, mm. it's gonna help you as well. Um, tuna has fast. 16 grams of protein. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you focus on having protein with every, like, say your main mm -hmm. meals, like breakfast, lunch, yeah. and dinner, that's going to bump up your protein so you don't have to rely as much on something. Yeah, or look at increasing yeah. the quantity of the, the protein that you're having. I also like to have, um, like, cottage cheese. Um, I use honey and some fruit in it. I, I really like that. Cottage cheese has only protein. Um, it's got fairly minimum fat. Um, I've done that with Chibani yogurt, but add protein powder into it, and that's pretty good too. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. Yogurt. Like ch the chocolate. Yeah. Um, mine, and, mine and Ash's favourite. Oh, we like the chicken kebabs. Chicken kebabs. Oh, so good. Oh, yeah. The Italian herbs. Yeah. Tomato and basil. 
that's yeah, the yeah. one. It, you can cook them, like, I think that's what you do. You cook them for the week, and then they're in the fridge. the fridge, and then you can just warm them up. Yeah, like, you can even, they're good cold, too. Yeah, they're good yeah. cold. Yeah. Oh, and they're, they're so sitting good. in the fridge, and you just have a state of my diet, yeah. they are. Yeah. <laughs> they're so good. I'm going to pack well. them sitting in my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> they're so good. Yeah. Fan favourite here at Smart Club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Worse if you're listening. We want a sponsorship deal. You can go up. Book us up. We're not promoted. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a promoted. <laughs> this is not an endorsed commercial. <laughs> not sponsored. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Even any, any type of yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. Yeah, healthy too. Mm. Mm. Cool. All right, that's it. Done. Good job, guys. If you guys have questions for our next episode, make sure you hit us up on our Squawk Club Instagram page, Squawk Club AU, and uh, we'll get to them for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Take care. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,